Stuart Philp. I'm Senior Curator at the Chow Chak Wing Museum looking after the Maclay collections which come from the Maclay Museum established here at the University in 1892. The issues that museums bring with them as being really a 19th century institution that's sort of lugging this history behind them and really trying to change into a different kind of thing. At one of these sessions a student put up a hand and said oh you know museums won't be why would you even need museums in 70 years? Climate change, it's all going to go. What's the point? And to me, that question didn't recognise that with climate change, there will be, as we know, immense movements of people. It is a thing that Pacific Islanders now are fighting strongly against, vehemently against, to say, if you do this now, we won't need to leave our islands. If we can change now, that won't happen. And this is still something that we can all do. Like, this is not a, oh, well, let's plan for tomorrow. This is, let's make sure that what we do today doesn't make that tomorrow. For me, if that devastation does happen, one of the things that museums need to do now is also to reorient and recognise that what we have is part of a cultural homeland of others. So some things, and it's not something that museums do, but it's something that uh, curators like Leah Louis who's um, worked with Torres Strait Islander Histories, does, in seeing the landscape and the seascape in the collections in being able to bring to life some of that which is gone. So um, if you think about the devastation that's happened now in Tonga, for instance, um, or the devastation that happened through the many years of civil war in East Timor, what also happens with that as, long as, as well as the human consequences is the massive extinction of animal and animal diversity in Tongan poetry, certain birds are really important and the songs and the stories and poems that people talk about which relate to their histories and very long histories and movement um, depend on certain kinds of animals. Now, a lot of Tongan Australians may not have seen that bird ever, but they are here in the collection. So that's something that I think we need to change to think about how we can bring to everyone's knowledge, these populations of place that are in museums and which will in the future have bigger consequences both as an archive of what needs to be cared for and looked after now and always but also in terms of thinking about futures where some islands like the Carteret Islands are already really impacted by the devastation of rising seas.